Welcome to your tour of your body on stress. When you're stressed, your body reacts instantly. Here are 12 of the most significant changes that happen in your body. Your heart. Each time you experience stress, your heart beats faster and you put excess strain on it. Your blood pressure. Your blood pressure increases because it's pumping extra blood, oxygen, and sugars to your muscles to supply more energy. Remember, under stress, you trigger your fight or flight response and your body responds as though you're under attack. Whether it's real, just a perceived threat, or you're just feeling the pressure and tension from your modern day hectic life. Your blood pressure further rises because your body also narrows and constricts your blood vessels to prevent you from bleeding to death from injury. Your blood. Your blood starts clotting, which creates blockages in your circulatory system, preventing the free flow of blood through your body. This is another way your body protects you. So if you're injured, you won't bleed to death. Here's the challenge. Your blood will clot regardless of whether or not you really are injured. Your digestion. Stress severely affects your digestion. Under stress, your body shuts or slows down any systems that aren't absolutely necessary to deal with the immediate threat. At those times, your body does not care about digesting food. It only cares about staying alive. So the blood supply to your digestive organs is slowed. This can lead to weight gain, which many of us are trying to prevent through good nutrition and exercise. So even if you're eating healthy foods, your body won't be able to properly digest that food and extract the nourishment it needs because that system has slowed down. This can also lead to increased stomach acidity. It's no wonder that you turn on the television and hear countless ads for medication that help with acid reflux and stomach acidity problems. That's why it's essential to manage your stress so your digestion can be strong and process your nutrition properly each day. Otherwise, the food will just sit there and slowly make its way out while you continue to add more food overloading your already slow digestive system. Your immune system. Like your digestive system, your body will suppress your immune system. Under stress, your body is less concerned with fighting disease. Its main focus is fighting off or fleeing from a perceived threat. So this means you're much more susceptible to getting sick and having less physical resources to fight that sickness. When people are upset and stressed about something, have you ever heard the phrase, that makes me sick? Well, yes, those situations can make you sick, really. Your breathing. When you're stressed, your breathing switches from relaxed, slow, deeper diaphragmatic breathing to fast, shallow chest breathing. This can put a strain on your lungs and can lead to hyperventilation. Anxiety and panic attacks can also accompany shallow breathing. In challenging moments, we often tell people to please take a deep breath. Now you know, that's because under stress, we breathe much more shallow, preventing our bodies from receiving the much needed oxygen to operate at its best. Your perspiration. Have you heard the phrase, don't sweat it, or don't sweat the small stuff? Referring to people who are upset about so many things, under stress, we can perspire excessively. People who are nervous and anxious often experience increased sweating. Even general nervousness can make us perspire. Your body sweats more to keep your body cool. Under stress, you put increased demands and activity on your body, and your body responds by sweating to keep us from overheating, which would really cause some serious internal damage. Your muscles. More blood flows to your muscles, giving them a burst of temporary strength. When this happens, we put pressure and strain on our muscles since they haven't been trained to actually handle the excess workload. This strain can lead to injury and over time sheer exhaustion. Most of us know that the best way to develop strength is consistent and steady weight training over time, not from pumping excess blood to our muscles and overuse from stress. Your blood sugar. Your blood sugar levels rise to provide more energy to your body. Some of our bodies are not equipped to adequately process that flood of blood sugar, and that can lead to serious health problems. Your anti-aging growth hormones. Your body reduces the flow of anti-aging growth hormones. So, as a result, our bodies age faster. Your reproductive system and sex hormones. 
Your reproductive systems are suppressed and you produce less sex hormones, so this can result in you feeling a drop in your libido, your sex drive. Stress interferes with the hormones needed to become sexually aroused. Your stress hormones. Under stress, your body pumps out a flood of many stress hormones. Here are just a few. Your body pumps out adrenaline and noradrenaline, which alert our body that it's in danger and increases our anxiety and fear, making our thoughts race. These stress hormones also raise our heart rate, increase our perspiration, slow our digestion, and activate various body systems to temporarily boost energy supplies. Your body also pumps out cortisol, which is considered the primary stress hormone. Cortisol increases the sugar in your bloodstream, can cause the accumulation of fat around your belly, and is responsible for slowing digestion, immunity, reproductive systems, and growth and anti-aging processes.